It's actually 2.42 in the afternoon right now, so the morning is all gone. But I've been awake since 7 o'clock because I can't sleep much these days, you know? This belly is making it really hard for mama to sleep. That's okay, I'm taking it all in because I know that my days are counted. Hey, I see you. Oh, hi. <laughs> Anyways, today my midwife actually came in to check up on baby. Everything seems to be fine. Her heart rate is fine. My blood pressure is a little bit higher than what she would like for it to be, but nothing too concerning. So I'm not worried about that. I just have to make sure that I stay hydrated and I eat well, which has also been a problem lately. I've been munching out so bad. And I don't know why because I was doing so well before these past three weeks and then all of a sudden Baby is positioned all the way at the bottom of my pelvis So she her head is right down there, but her back is against my back still there is a possibility where I might have a little bit more of back labor and if that's the case, then I guess I'll be fine with it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting myself into anyways but from what I've heard, it is preferred that the baby is in the front and not in the back. So she was super sweet and brought me a baby succulent. How cute is this little baby? I have to find a pot for it. Anywho, lately I have been a little bit more swollen than usual. Let me show you guys. Don't mind my toes. They have not been done for quite a while, but they're living their best life. Look at this. Look at this ankle. I officially have cankles. And it's always this foot more than this one. I think I just rest my body more on this one than this one. My face is also a little bit puffier and my hands are too. I think this is just... This is just the ending of pregnancy. I thought I was gonna get away with not having the puffiness, but I guess I'm not one of those lucky girls. I wanted to give you guys a overlook at how my room is set up for the baby's arrival because I don't think I ever did that in my previous vlogs. Here we have her changing station. I have this thing that came with the changing station on top of the actual um, mattress type of thing just to cover it so it doesn't have dust on it. And then down here I have her wipes and her butt cream. Here we have a set of newborn diapers which honestly I don't know if she's going to be able to use because she's looking kind of big <laughs> and then here we have some burp cloths and right over here i have her first outfit then down here i have um the changing tables replacement cover i guess you can say and then this is for the halo bassinet another waterproof cover look how swollen my hands look and then down here we have um some uh liners for the changing table then over here i have the wipey warmer which i still haven't set up because the plug is all the way over there and we didn't think about this before we installed this because this is actually um secured onto the wall we didn't think about it too well and now i'm gonna have a cable just hanging from the wall and i'm not sure that i like that but anyways we're gonna figure that out and then her humidifier which i also have to install very soon over here we have her halo bassinet i have a um a cover on it just so that there's no dust getting on it this is gonna go on that side of the bed because that's where i sleep on but for now she stays there because she takes up a lot of room also i don't think i've shown you guys all my postpartum care essentials and what i ended up doing with them Right over here, the lights are off, so it's a little bit dark. But if I turn it on, then you're going to have to hear the aspirator thing. So <laughs> anyways, right over here, I have um, extra toilet paper rolls, some wipes, which is usually what we keep there anyways. This is what I ended up adding to my bathroom, which is a couple of extra heavy-duty pads, my extra sexy... <laughs> Um, women's diapers and then we have a period bottle 
from Frida. And then we have a Frida Perennial Healing Foam, which is supposed to be cooling and all that good stuff. <laughs> Along with some Tux, which I was thinking of maybe putting in the refrigerator. But anyways, this is what my postpartum care section is looking like. Very simple. I went ahead and added a little basket that kind of contains some of the things that I'm going to need while on my bedside, which includes the nipple butter. I got the Earth Mama because I heard really good reviews about it, and it's supposed to be completely... I can't open it. <laughs> it's supposed to be completely natural and safe for the baby to consume. Then I also have some... Um, what are these called again? Nipple pads? <laughs> and then finally, I have some of my eye drops because my eyes get really dry. If you guys don't know, I had LASIK eye surgery about four years ago. And yeah, that's the only sad effect that I'm still dealing with, dry eyes. And this is completely random, nothing to do with postpartum, but it is a curtain struggle. I keep my tums <laughs> on the side of my bed because heartburn tends to strike when I am sleeping late at night. So it's just much easier to keep it by my bedside. And yeah, we're on her time right now. She can come at any moment. As a matter of fact, I want to show you guys how my belly is looking at the moment. This is 38 weeks and 3 days. I've been using coconut butter instead of um, chia butter these past couple of days because I ran out of chia butter. But coconut oil has been doing really well. It keeps my skin... I feel like it keeps my skin hydrated for longer and it's not as sticky and messy but what do you guys think has the belly dropped i can fit a whole hand under my chest which is a sign that she has dropped already but i can't tell maggie has been acting so clingy lately she does not leave my sight at all according to old wife's tales a dog can tell when you're about to go into labor. <laughs> he's, tr he's trying to catch a fly. We have like three flies in the house and they're not. <laughs> These are my absolute favorite um, incense. I get them at the mall in the store called Earth Bond. I'm not sure if you guys have it up north. They almost smell like clean air. I don't know. It's I'm really picky when it comes to smells, but this one I really do like. I was taught that you should always let the incense burn and then shake it until the flame goes off because it's not... It's not good luck to blow it away or something like that. Oh, actually, I know what I'm gonna do. I have to water my plants today. So I am gonna go ahead and water all of my green babies. There's lots of green babies to water. So you'll get to see that with my big old pregnant belly. <laughs> to know what you think do you think that i am gonna be oh my god the camera <laughs> okay that's better do you think come let's sit down do you think that i am going to be early do you think that i'm going to be on time or do you think that i'm going to be past due i don't think baby's gonna be here till june i think we're gonna have a june baby i would like that but june is Next Monday, that's it. June is next Monday, then she'll be here next Monday. Oh my God. You're gonna be 38 weeks, <laughs> Why is so... this camera like this? I guess it's just, it's very humid outside. It's been raining for the past three days here, and... Uh, so you're saying the June is this Monday? So Sunday is the 31st. Okay, so yeah, so... Which is my... I think that that's the date that she's gonna come. For some... I mean, obviously... You're gonna be 39 I'm, weeks, right? 
I'm gonna be thir exactly 39 weeks on Sunday. Wow. But I don't know, just the 31st sounds like well, a good day. <laughs> it's not coming early or coming late because 38 to 42 is, is, is the time. Yeah. No, you're right. So you're, There's not really. When you like... say is she coming early or she coming late, you're basing off the 40 week yeah. mark, right? You smell, you smell good. You smell like coffee. Like coffee, yeah. <laughs> I think she's going to be born in June. I don't know if it's going to be Monday, but I don't think she'll be here till June. So the predictions, the predictions, the dates, we have a couple for the 31st. I think the 31st. Your sister thinks the 31st. Yes. Um, I think I'm, your mom thinks the 31st as well. I'm on June 1st or 2nd. And then there's a bunch of people who are predicting the second. For some reason, I don't know why my mom is predicting the second. She predicted the 28th first. She predicted tomorrow as the date. Yeah, it can still but, happen. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I have been getting a lot of contractions lately. But She's been getting contractions or surges or cramps since yeah, Friday. Very often. More since now. More at night though, but they, they're not painful. That's why I'm not like... But that's the thing. They don't have to be painful for them to be active. That's how it start. It's just your body warming up to the to the cramps for all i know itself. probably know you could just go in labor in five minutes for all i know i could be dilated right now to like a five and not this camera yeah for all i know i could be dilated to like a five and not be in any pain whatsoever recently i've been seeing women having like one hour labor this is the second person really fast labor like an hour labor yeah well, I, I wanted the, the labor to be quick but i also want it to take a Wait, little bit it so can't we can be take too pictures it can't be too quick because then my mom and your sister are not going to be able to make it yeah, on they, time they live about an hour and a half away from us <laughs> yeah. so hopefully it's quick but not an hour and right? a half right i think i think three hours is good you know three hours is good but this could go on for like but then I don't again know, 16 hour labor this is us being hopeful we have no idea what's gonna happen <laughs> my mom calls me while she's at work and says are you good are you, are you not in labor yeah. yet I called my mom today and a butterfly. And then she, when when she picked up, she was paused on the phone for like five seconds. Oh, sorry. And I'm like, what's wrong? And she's like, oh, I thought you were gonna tell me Chris was in labor. And I'm like, that, that's what everybody just. Every time every, I call somebody, that's what they think about. Or, tell them. or when you don't answer the phone, everyone just automatically assumes yeah. that I'm in labor. Yeah, already. my dad called me. What is it? Four missed calls yesterday. <laughs> and he thought <laughs> he I wasn't picking out. up because Chris was in labor. He like. freaked out. Doesn't she look like a wild boar? She's by herself because uh, her her brother's nowhere out here. Her, her brother her brother's working right now. Yeah, Ramon is somewhere in the garage with Uncle. But look at that. It's a little... <laughs> it's a little fuck bite. <laughs> hey! Psst. Maggie? What? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you want to say bye to the camera? Yeah. All we're missing is your brother. Ramon. Ramon's uh, at work right now. Ramon's, uh, Ramon's putting in some work in the garage. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you once again for tuning in to our shenanigans. This might be or might not be our last vlog before baby gets here. Uh, maybe I can squeeze in another one. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're on her time, so you never know. Don't forget to give this video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe so you don't miss our little family growing. We love you, and we'll see you next time. Bye!